Since LSU trains the majority of the healthcare workforce in the state of Louisiana, we felt it was critical to keep our students here and find classroom space in Baton Rouge. There's never been any time in the history of the United States where an academic health science center of this size has moved to a city 100 miles away and then moved back. you know, it turned around. Like, I don't even know how they did it because we're in school one month later in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Everybody pulled together here. You know, you come here and it's just a success story. You see these old buildings that were completely transformed into classrooms, that these old storage buildings were formed into 120, 30 cubicles for us to carry on education, still treat people, treat it up here. And so it's a really, really neat success story to to have up here and to come see this and you know and, and to be a part of it all is just it's just you know I feel honored that I was able to have a hand in it all. So what we did what some of us did is came right back down and established our own response on the hot concrete in the middle of, of uh, the open air in front of the convention center, so we became our own little local DMAP. Now we saw every victim. We processed uh, almost a thousand victims between St. Gabriel and Carville, and we also processed somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 or 1300 caskets of the coffins that were washed out of their crypts. July 1st, 2006 was always going to be the day when we started uh, our residencies and that was really, um, really sort of an amazing feat that it actually did happen on time, especially with everything that the school and that the city and all of its people had faced. There's a very simple reason why I believe that LSU and this hospital will prosper into the future. It's because the doctors, the nurses, and the staff of the Health Sciences Center and the medical school are truly some of the finest people in the world. You are the heroes of Hurricane Katrina. All of you have been through an extraordinary experience, one that all of us in the nation and the world have watched with the uh, great admiration for what you have been able to accomplish under extraordinary circumstances. We've all experienced some form of loss or some form of um, devastation as a result of the storm, but this school has taught me to bounce back, to come back bigger, better, stronger than ever. Thank you.